Did you know that Gojo's comeback will happen in future chapters? Yegi has already given us too many hints, and now it's a matter of when he will be coming back, not if he will be coming back. There are two routes that Gojo will return. Some speculate it's the RCT, and some say the Binding Vow. The Binding Vow seems to be highly likely. I will explain why later on, but we know from the manga that there are two types of Binding Vows. The first type of Binding Vow is a contract between two people. The second one is a Binding Vow someone makes with themselves, something Miwa has done with her katana. We can expect Gojo's one to be the same as Miwa a one-to-one -one binding vow. For Gojo to return, he must sacrifice something big. We can expect it to be the six eyes. The reason why I say the six eyes is because the six eyes are an innate gift that allows Gojo to master the limitless. Without six eyes, Gojo can never use the limitless and vice versa. Gojo inherited the curse technique limitless from his family, but it can only be truly mastered by one who also possesses six eyes. Through cursed energy manipulation, Gojo has absolute control over space at an atomic level. The removal of the six eyes means no more limitless. No more limitless means Gojo will have to say goodbye to the hollow purple, infinity, reversal red, lapse blue, and unlimited void. After the binding vow, we can expect him to have his six eyes still, but due to the binding vow, he won't be able to use them because if he does, he will lose what he has gained, and that is his life. The only techniques he can use are his simple domain, RCT, and Black Flash. Everything else will be on lockdown. Another way Gojo can come back is through RCT, thanks to Shoko. However, this option is unlikely. The reason for this is straightforward. The Tengen merger. We all know that the Tengen merger might happen soon, and things will dramatically change in the sorcery world if it does happen. We know that Sukuna will begin the merger, when or how is unknown, but it will likely happen in future chapters. This merging will create an all-powerful cursed spirit that is said to be so powerful and evil, probably much worse than Sukuna. Sukuna does not care about the harm the merger could cause humanity. He only cares about fighting the cursed spirit. He first wants to kill everyone in the culling game to begin the merger. The underlying motive driving Kenjaku's desire to merge humanity with Tengen lies in Tengen's inherent immortality, which makes him incapable of experiencing death. To break free from his immortality, Tengen must transition into a new form, a process achieved by merging with humans. However, this transformation leads Tengen to adopt the state of a cursed spirit due to the lower level of cursed energy found within humans. Embracing this cursed form indicates the loss of his immortality and therefore becoming a mortal. Hence, like all other cursed spirits, Tengen would become susceptible to exorcism, ultimately resulting in his death. Tengen cursed spirit being killed means one thing. The Tengen barrier will disappear. It seems like nothing big, but if you read the manga, the barrier is is essential to optimizing and amplifying cursed energy. Hence, the power is concentrated in Japan, which is why the Jujutsu sorcerers are all in Japan, along with curses. That's the hotspot for all Jujutsu sorcerers. So if the Tengen barrier is there to optimize and increase the cursed energy, in other words, strengthen, then it makes absolute sense that the disappearance of the Tengen barrier leads to a decrease in cursed energy, or you can say de-optimization of cursed energy, resulting in the weakening of curses alongside sorcerers. All sorcerers use cursed energy, and a reduction in curse energy means they won't be able to use any techniques, their bloodline will die down, and at the same time, the number of cursed spirits will reduce. Even if emotions keep leaking from humans, they cannot be sedimented into a cursed spirit, because no Tengen barrier is available to amplify or, you can say, strengthen the cursed energy. The word amplify means strengthen. So this would mean that Tengen's death would lead to cursed spirits being weaker than ever, and won't be able to harm humans, just like Mahito and his friends. Not only will curses be affected by Tengen's barrier removal, but sorcerers will also be affected. Sorcerers will be weakened. We can expect their cursed techniques to disappear, leading them to become more human, just like in the real world, and the number of people who can see cursed spirits will also decrease. Since all sorcerers' cursed technique is affected after Tengen's death, we can expect Shoko's RCT to be affected. This means she won't be able to heal others like how she used to. For the RCT to work, you need a lot of cursed energy, and you also need to be a sorcerer, which is a prerequisite. Tengen Dead will only de-optimize cursed energy, affecting all sorcerers, including Shoko. Shoko's RCT will be affected, which might mean she won't be able to complete her healing for everybody. It's still a theory, but Tengen being gone will affect all sorcerers, so we can expect that the majority of sorcerer who were killed or injured will most likely go through a binding vow similar to Gojo, leading them to sacrifice something, maybe their CT or even a limb. Everyone from Megumi to Gojo, Yuta, and the others will all have to make some binding vow if Shoko's RCT disappears or weakens. Yuta may have to sacrifice his CT. Megumi's whole arsenal is already destroyed, so he probably won't need to go through a binding vow. Kuzukabe may end up like Miwa and not use his katana again. Everyone will be affected. That may be why Gege is killing everyone off so they can also return and be reborn, just like Gojo, which is through a binding vow. Yuji and Sukuna may be unaffected because they are cursed objects. We still do not know, but it's likely. If you think about it, Gojo's loneliness will fade. He won't be lonely like before. This time around, things will be different and better.
Instead of being the strongest, he will learn to love. Love is the secret solution to every JJK problem. If you think about it, cursed spirits are born from negative emotions. Love is a positive emotion. If more love existed in the JJK world, we would not see strong curses like Mahito and Hanami. There will be no need for sorcerers if more people generate the emotion of love instead of hate and fear. Yuji is the solution to all of the issues we see. He was brought up with love, and his love will change Sukuna and the world.